What up with the world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna show you three ways to submit your music to Sound Exchange. Stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to submit your music to Sound Exchange, and number one, there may be a few folks that are just coming up on this video that don't know what Sound Exchange is, but I will tell you what Sound Exchange is and how you get access to it. Sound Exchange is a nonprofit organization that helps rights owners and artists, so the people that own the recordings and the artists that perform on it, claim royalties for digital performances. They can collect from places like iHeartRadio, Pandora, and SiriusXM. So being a nonprofit, Sound Exchange has some pieces to it. It is free to use. To become a member of Sound Exchange as a rights owner or artist or both, you just have to sign up for it. And you do that at soundexchange.com. There's a link down in the description. So the two types of accounts you could have would be a rights owner. Again, that's the person or the company that owns the sound recording, or you can be an artist, right? So you could be a performer on the song, the main performer, or you can even be a featured artist. So if you got a bunch of features out there, be sure to go claim your features. So there's three ways that you can claim your music, and I'm gonna show you those three ways in this video. Number one is the bulk catalog, right? So this is the longest process, but it's the easiest if you have a lot of songs, or even if you don't have a lot of songs, you can get it done in about an hour of cataloging your work. The next part is submitting recordings, right? So this is piece by piece, filling in all of the blanks for your song's metadata. And you do this by adding the title, adding the ISRC code and all that stuff on their website, and then you submit that way. It's medium difficulty, but requires a little bit of data entry. And it might actually be a longer process than doing the bulk catalog, which is my favorite part. The last one is super easy, but very difficult to actually initiate, and it's called search and claim. Now, search and claim is for royalties that are out there that are claimed by Sound Exchange, and they're just kind of holding it off to the side. If your song is in this database, that means you have unclaimed royalties already reported. So search and claim is easy, but if you have already claimed your performances, you're not gonna find anything. Or if your performances haven't been reported, you're also not gonna find anything through search and claim. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bulk catalog process, then we'll go to submit recordings, and then we'll go to search and claim. Like I said before, my favorite one to do is this bulk ingest form, and you can find that when you go to Sound Exchange. You go up to my catalog and you go to submit recordings. And from the submit recordings part, if you're on a computer, you can download the Excel spreadsheet that you need to use as a template. I already have mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this part. So number one is the artist name. So I have a record called Glow featuring Icarus Gray, so I'm gonna just type in Glow. And then next is the ISRC code, right? And I can get that from DistroKid. And so I would go on and fill out every one of these qualifying fields about the song itself. And you wanna make sure that you get everything that has an asterisk so they can catalog it in the system. There's one thing I also wanna do is in the artist section, I wanna make sure that I add in my featured artist. If you have a featured artist on a song, you wanna put featuring Icarus Gray. So you wanna make sure that that happens in the artist field so that the featured artist can get what they are due. So to see a full video of me doing this bulk registration, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description and put it in the cards for you to watch that video in full if you wanna see the bulk registration form. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you how to do the submit recordings feature. So you wanna to go to my catalog and you want to submit recordings. And then from there, you will click add a recording. You wanna make sure that you fill out all of this metadata for your song. You can find most of that metadata in your distributor's website. You also want to claim a recording. Uh, you want to note when the rights end and the rights begin. And then you wanna add a release. 
and adding release means that you have to type in all the metadata for the release itself and then submit and review. After you submit and review, then you'll be able to submit recordings themselves and then you'll be able to match up all this metadata with an actual recording for the record. The last piece that I mentioned was the search and claim feature. Again, you can find that in my catalog and then you can click on search and claim. So the best way to use this feature is to do it by ISRC code, right? So if you know the ISRC code for your work, then you can search it that way. Otherwise you'll need to search with your artist's name. So I'm gonna put my artist name in here. I don't have any recordings out there, so I'm just gonna click on this random TI Jay-Z song. Scroll on down, click claim. And then once you click claim, you're able to put in the percentages uh, when the range starts and then check the claim. But like I said before, this is a rare occasion where uh, royalties are already been reported and then you need to go and find your songs that are already monetized. This is the easiest method, but it's not the most efficient. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Again, go watch my full video for the bulk upload and submitting your recordings. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.